Hi guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply. Coming today for a really unique little backhoe here. It's a two, 1998 JCB 210S Series 2. The Series 2 had a four cylinder Perkins in it. The first series, these had a three cylinder, they had a lot of engine problems with them. Uh, they updated into the four cylinder engine. Um, they had no issues with them since. Good motors in them. They're a four wheel drive, four wheel steer uh, backhoe. And this has a side shift boom, extend a hoe, cab heat, there is no air. This was municipality, a municipality owned, and it was used at their cemetery that they have. Uh, and they did run it back and forth on the road. It has been kept inside. The paint on this thing is beautiful condition. Um, but it does have 4,051 hours. Uh, but the thing is tight. It is in good shape. Uh, starts, runs, and works good. I have all the books. I have service records on it. I have some extra pieces for it that they sent along. Uh, very nice machine. Works very well. Uh, we're going to show you all the stuff about it today. Run it around here and show you does everything it's supposed to do. We'll start you up here underneath the hood. Again, this unit's powered by a four-cylinder uh, Perkins diesel engine. Starts, runs excellent, no abnormal noise, smoke, blow-by. Uh, we did have one sensor we replaced. Um, temperature sensor from JCB, put it on new, done. We did service it, all the fillers and oils are changed. Um, the neighbor's horse died. We did use this to bury the horse here a week ago. Little thing digs great. I even have the JCB factory keys that lock the hood in the front grill. I have all that stuff. Front bucket is in beautiful condition. You can see the bolt on cutting edge. It's never been turned. Um, <laughs> original bucket for 4,000 hour machine. Up front, this is a JCB Q fit. Does have auxiliaries to the front and it is power quick touch. You flip that lever and you take your bucket on and off uh, via the quick touch cylinders and then you have auxiliary hydraulics to the front. Tires. Tires are all four match. They're down to about 35-40%. They run it on the road. That's why they're wore that way. Uh, but all four tires are matched. Still in good shape. Uh, still some running left in them, but you can see what I'm talking about. Coming here to the back. I had two buckets. They have this, this is an 18 inch WB that was hardly ever used. And over there is the grave digging bucket. A 36 inch grave digging bucket that's in beautiful shape also. Extra dig, we have the boom unpinned so that we can uh, show you that the extend hoe works. All the cylinders are dry, we find no leaks on this machine. Boom is side shift, it works whenever you pin the extend hoe back up. Um, you flip a valve in here, dead in the hydraulics, it releases the locks, and then you can reach over and side shift the hoe. Um, does have a boom lock here for the boom, uh, swivel lock available. All the glass is in the cab. We have a million people ask, yes, this window is here and complete. I just have it open because it is freaking 85 degrees today in Yuba. A couple scratches on the fender. Again, this is a 1998. We'll take you inside the cab here real quick. This thing is all original paint. Here, we'll come around this side. I want you to about the door. The door was hanging open at one time and somebody caught something. They broke the hinge, cracked that piece of metal. Uh, I believe they replaced this glass, you can see. Down here at the door, there's a little gap here at the bottom. The door still opens and closes. The door shock holds it open. I'm pointing it out to be fair, telling you the truth. The floor itself is not rusted out. It's not like this thing was used in a salt pile. So, seats in good shape, 4,051 hours. All the gauges work. Park brake. Anything I know doesn't work is the radio. This is for your front auxiliary hydraulics, loader. Uh, you have your button here to transmission cutouts. Shift one through four. Uh, all turn signals, headlights, forward reverse shuttle, all work. Extend the hoe. Here's the valve I'm talking about. You can flip this up, then use that valve um, to run your um, side shift for your back hoe. Standard joystick controls in the back, hand throttle. Uh, you can see all the air louvers. Uh, everything is here and intact. 
for the rear window, which I'll open whenever I operate it. And you'll see it is already plumbed on the back boom for auxiliary hydraulics. So we're going to turn the camera back over here to Brent. And uh, we're going to run this thing around, show you it does everything it's supposed to do. And I'll just take it over here in the dirt and we'll dig with it so you can see that it does everything it's supposed to do there.
you guys questions on our 1998 JCB 210S uh, compact loader backhoe. Uh, we've showed you everything I can show you. I haven't run a backhoe and backhoe controls for a long time, but kind of why I look a little bit like an idiot. My dad's brother, so that'd be my uncle, broke the lever off on my Bobcat excavator, which is setting up there. And he broke it off on cat control, and I think he did it on purpose because he don't run John Deere, and that's all I run forever was John Deere uh, control. And he came out here to dig some ditch for me, and he broke the lever off, said that it all oh, just happened. So I had to learn how to run cat till I fixed the lever, but it messes with my brain now. So, but anyhow, it's standard John Deere control. You could switch some hoses to go to cat, but we showed you that the extender hoe works, and we'll put the safety pin back in it here in a second. Uh, so the side shift works, uh, four wheel drive, brakes. Um, push is good in the pile, you've seen that. All the glasses in the cab. This is probably one of the nicest 210S's out there in the market right now for sale. Uh, but it has 4,051 hours. I've seen some with 6,000 hours. They're a great little machine. The What replaced this, I sold one last year, is a 3CX Compact. Uh, I sold for like in the $70,000 price range. A new one's uh, $98,000 from JCB. Uh, there's still a time and a place for these little machines. They're a great little machine. If you got any questions, 814-658-3066. Please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. See us on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at Mark Supply 88. As always, thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company. Today's July the 3rd, 2020. Please have a happy and safe 4th of July. And um, enjoy yourselves, but everybody keep uh, keep safe and uh, watch your watch your fingers with fireworks. Thank you guys again very much. I'm Nick Miller, 814-658-3066. As always, have a great day.